Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. My brothers and my sisters in Christ Jesus. It is repentance time. It is repentance time. Once again, it is repentance time. We have to look at what's going on around us. We have to see that the world has forsaken righteousness and they have gravitated to the works of the devil. They have led, been led astray. They have begun to run after idols. They have begun to follow devil worship. They have begun to forsake the Lord thy God. It is time to repent. It is time to return. It is time to humble ourselves. It is time to seek. It is time to know of God's truth so we won't have to face his wrath. Children of God, oh my God, when I begin to research the Brazil parade, when I begin to watch the videos, we have everybody making content. Some are just making content to get followers. Some are making content to get likes. Some are making content just to amuse people. But I'm here because the content that the Lord has given me is to warn you, to warn you of the evils that are in this world, to expose the devil, to expose his deeds, and to let you know that your soul is at stake. Your inheritance that he has for you is at stake. When I watch that parade, and my God, I'm thinking to myself, who can come up with something like this? Who can have floats that are are, 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 are in the image of Satan and everybody is rejoicing, let alone who can come up with a skit that the devil is mocking and flocking Jesus like he has beat that he had is that he is winning and that he is beating our Lord and our Savior. And my spirit became very grieved. What kind of evil is this, God? What is going on? Why is men gravitate to what's not of God? And then God had to take me back that the condemnation, that the condemnation in the world is that men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. And I say, oh my God. It's not something that is hidden. What that parade showed made it plain that they are not for God, but they are for the evils that are in this world. And they are haters of Jesus. Oh, oh God. Help us, Holy Ghost. Help us, Holy Ghost. Help us, Holy Ghost. They hate Jesus. They hate righteousness. They hate goodness. They hate what God says. Oh my God. They hate the sacrifice that he made on the cross. They hate, oh God, God. They hate the love of God. Oh God, God. Hallelujah. But I'm here to say today, saints of God, the ones that love the Lord, the ones that are keeping their garments clean, the ones that, hallelujah, are changing their ways, the ones that is say, for the Lord I'll live and for the Lord I will die. I will not be conform to this world, but I will be transformed by the renewing 
of my mind. I must hold to God. I must hold fast to his promises. I'm here to let you know today. Ah, uh, don't you dirty up your hands. Don't you stain your heart. Don't you allow the evil and the evildoers to have you to leave your first love. Oh, God, I say, God, but hold fast. Hold fast, hold fast to the King's garment. Hold fast to the love of the Messiah. Oh, God, I say, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Oh, help us, Holy Ghost. Help us, Holy Ghost. Help us, Holy Ghost. Help us, God. Help us, God. Help us, God. Help us, God. Oh, God. God. Hallelujah, saints of God. I'm here. I'm crying out. I'm pleading with you. Oh, my God. Don't let the devil win. Don't you throw in the towel. Don't you give up. Don't you lose heart. Don't you let faith die. But let faith arise. Oh, God. God. Hallelujah. Because Jesus has already told us. Jesus has already let us know that hallelujah, oh glory, and this is the condemnation that light has come into the world. And men love darkness rather than the light, for their deeds were evil. And we are seeing hallelujah, the deeds of men. We are seeing that the Bible is a living word and everything that the Bible has told us about and warned us about is coming to pass and that the hearts of men are waxing cold. They don't have the love of God in them anymore. People are chasing the devil in all types of forms, whether it's in witchcraft, whether it's in voodoo and hoodoo, whether it is in Santeria. The, oh my God, they are just chasing the enemy. They are making their own idols, whether it's in ideology, whether it's in racism, and then we have, oh my God, new doctrines, Hebrew Israelites, and all these different things, but I'm here to tell you that God changes not, his word changes not, his righteousness changes not, his ways changes not. In the children of God, you better know that you know. You better know that I am on the Lord's side. I reject all the wickedness and evil that are in this world. And Father God, I repent of all. I renounce all. Hey, God, say God, and I reject Satan. I reject all of his ways. I reject his wickedness. I reject his will. Oh, glory. I want no parts of evil. I will obey you, God. Whatever you say, I will say. Whatever you want me to do, I will do. I will stand strong. I will be courageous. I will not give in to the satanic mobs. I will not bounce my head or nod my head to the satanic beats in the satanic music, but I want you, God, and I want you alone. Oh, da, 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 da. Saints of God, the Lord tells us we got to be, lose our lives to find our life. We have to deny ourselves of the things that are in the world. Oh, God, God, we have to pick up our cross daily. The Lord tells us in Revelation 18 and 4, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, 
my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, that ye receive not of her plagues. So this is for the children of God. God is calling you out of the world. He's calling you unto himself to be set apart, to be separated. So when his wrath comes, you will not be Hallelujah, take it out by God's wrath. He's calling his people that you do not partake of of the world's sin. You see, you got to understand everybody that was at that parade, everybody that was a part of that parade, they were partaking in the sins of the world. They were, oh, gotta shake a time, partaking of the evils in this world. And they will be held accountable of what they, uh, of their deeds, and them attending a satanic and partaking in a satanic ritual. Oh my God, Ooh, glory. It's self-explanatory. You see it, you understand it. Uh, the devil and uh, uh, and Jesus, you know that's not how the story goes. You know that Satan loses. You know that Satan does not have authority over Christ. So why would you stand in the midst of the madness of evil? Oh, God, Oh, Jesus. Saints of God, children of God, this is the time of separation. This is the time to come out of her. Come out of the world. Do not partake of the deed and the evil of the world and submit your way to God. You got to be hot in this spiritual battle. You got to be hot for righteousness and for good. You can't be lukewarm. You cannot one day want to serve Jesus and then the next day wants to partake of the evils in this world. But you got to say for the Lord I'll live and for the Lord I'll die and you will have to say what Joshua said. As for me and my house we will serve the Lord. Saints of God choose ye this day whom you will serve. Who is your Lord? Who is your Savior? And I say today, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. The Lord is our choice. Don't partake no longer of the wickedness and the evils that are in this world. And I say this as well, if you are in the need of learning, reach out to the ministry so you can know and be, and be taught because Jesus is a teacher of the good and the evil. Just send me an email. Well, on today, my time is coming. My time is gone. I do, definitely don't want to keep you too long. Be blessed. Be encouraged. Be empowered. And know that Jesus loves you. And the woman of God loves you. Amen.